Welcome to Country Living with Salad. Every week we will have different recipes for everyone to try our lovely Country Living cooking. Hello and welcome to Bad Ugly Farms. My name is Wilda and I'm Bianca. Today will be our first episode for Country Living with Salad Master. So today Bianca will be cooking our sausage sweet potato medley. Yay! And uh, to start with, we are going to cut our sweet potatoes. And as you can notice, our sweet potatoes, we do not cut out the skin because the skin is where most of the nutrients are. So, the cut that we need today, we're going to use corn number three. So how many cones does that come with? Like, we have five, five cones. Five so cones the smaller cones. the corn, the smaller the cut. Okay. Yes, so I, I need to use uh, corn number three because that's the cut we need for our uh, sweet potato sausage milk. Okay, so I'm gonna move over here so I can experience the cutting so that the next time I'll cut uh, right now I'm gonna cut but next time you will do the cutting. Okay. okay. I'm gonna sit here and look at it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So I'll take my sweet potato and I'll, I'll put it down here and I just hold it and I just roll it around. So don't worry, if you're like me and I have shaky hands, this is pretty steady. I don't think it moves. It's, it's pretty, pretty steady good. and so. even if you have arthritis, it's not, it's it's hard not working. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so once you're done, we're going to go ahead and show you what the cuts look like. And then, as you can see, we've got several other vegetables in get here. So, we'll get to cutting and we'll be back. And hopefully next time you have a salad master too and you can join us and go around with it. All right, I am now done with the cutting. So the next step is to start cooking our medley. The next, we are going to start frying our sweet potato medley. And we're going to use our electric oil cord. So you can, can you use oil or with or without oil, or, but the preference is without oil, right? Yes, we recommend you use without oil because it's more healthy and uh, less cholesterol for you. So if you, if you can feel this. Okay, it's actually quite lightweight. It looks very heavy, but it's actually lightweight. Yes, what do you think is so, in there? Um, I, I don't know. I hear something jiggly. I have no clue. <laughs> I hear something. All right, jiggly. that is oil, and this oil helps um, the food to cook evenly. So it, it's all even. It doesn't burn the food. And this is nonstick. I'm assuming. It's nonstick. Or, not your food will not will not burn. Oh, so so see, no oil. So what I'm going to put next? I'm going to put my onions. I'd already pre-cut them. I can hear the sizzle already. So how many degrees does this, does this go by degrees? You, when you're frying, you have to put it to preheat for 450 degrees. Okay. Okay. So 450 degrees, everybody. 450 degrees for a night and you let it to cook. So I put my onions. Next, I'm going to put my garlic. And so at the end of this show, she's going to go ahead and give you um, what exact um, portioning that you need to do, about how many cups, how many cloves of garlic, and we will have that all below in the description. All right, so does this food like cook with the natural, does it use the natural oils from the food itself? Yes. To cook? Okay. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're doing your chicken, we'll do that in another episode where I'll show you how to actually fry your chicken without using any oil, without using any salt, and it will taste exactly like you cook it with me. That's a plus for me. Oil is like what, 10, 10 bucks, and you just save yourself 10 bucks there. 10 bucks there, 180 bucks a year. Especially when you go on vacation, after the this is like a, a mobile kitchen. Because oh. you can use it, to, you can cook your food in here, go and uh, do your sightseeing, come back, your food is ready because there's a timer, you can use a timer oh. and put it, put it on time and then just cover your food 
and when you come back, you have food. So that means you save also on on food. Okay, no, I'm not burning. That's the most important. <laughs> yes, and with salad master, actually, you save it saves ninety three percent of the nutrients. So you will eat less once you get your salad master. You will start eating less. Like one piece of chicken will be enough, you'll feel full because yes. all the nutrients are there. Did not and what I like about this, if like you can see it closer, is that the onions are not like regular mm -hmm. cooking oil. They will shrivel up and stuff. But these are really nice and translucent and they still look, you know, yes. plump and lushy. So that's, they re they're retaining the color. So it really is a red onion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the next, I will put my green onions. And I'll add some cilantro. Ooh, I can, I mean, I wish you all were here to start smelling it already. I'm like hungry. I think I could just take this and use it on top of a taco or something before she gets done. But yes. Ooh, it smells amazing. And I think um, you grow your own green onions and cilantro. Yes, the cilantro and green onion actually came from the, from the, from the farm. farm. Yes. So you're eating all organic and you're not wasting any nutrients because if you're cooking with regular pots, they are burning all the nutrients. Even if you're buying organic, really, it's not okay. Yeah. <coughs> and you waste all your nutrients, so it doesn't make sense. So the next, I'll put my beef sausages, which we bought from our local, our local uh, farm. Oh, some They're all handmade and organic. Information: uh, The casing on these sausages is uh, from lamb, and uh, it's pure beef. Wow! And I know you're very soon. Um, you'll be producing these. Yes. I mean, you will we'll be producing the farms that farm. Sheep, so, yes. so look out for that, and so let you know when Barbara Lee Farms will be producing uh, the sausage with the cheese cake. Next, I'll put our sweet potatoes to, to the sausage. Oh, one thing I've noticed with the salad master as well, if, if you're really, if you've done potatoes a lot, you do know that the color starts to change, mm -hmm. unless you're inside the wok. But we've been here for about, what, 10? Since we started in this bright orange, Still retain the same color. So yes, it still retains the color. Even after cooking, the color will still be the same. It doesn't change the color of the food. That means all the nutrients will still have the same as they are. Why it change the color? Because all the nutrients are gone. Mm -hmm. So now this is ready. We're going to cover it for 10 minutes and then it will be ready to go to the oven. So a quick question, because I know you'll talk about your pots later. Do your your pots every pot has its own lid? Every pot has its own lid. Yes. Every pot has its own lid. If you're like anybody in my household, containers and stuff always lose lids and I'm always No, and stuff, this one so. you can actually once you finish cooking from here you mm -hmm. can put it in the, in the fridge. Exactly the way it is in the morning you come, you just boil uh, boil your food no inside way. here. And the food will doesn't spoil, so we can and it will still have the same same flavor. taste flavor. Oh, so yes. I can throw away. Well, see, you can throw away all your Tupperware. <laughs> yes, once you get this, you can throw away your Tupperware. That's for sure. Less clutter. Oh, great. See, it's baking. And remember, this can act as a bake, uh, uh, something for baking, uh, bakingware, and it can act as uh, something you can fry in. So it works it multi-purpose. You can bake in here too. So um, we add a little bit of our seasoning. This is our seasoning that we, we make here at the farm. Just to season.
Next, we're going to do the salad Yay. because we have to eat vegetables in every meal because for a balanced diet. We have the protein in there, we have our starch in there. Now we're going to um, do our salad. And we're going to use corn number four. This will slice our cabbage. No more using knives. Okay, so did you, you do four and quarter your cabbage? It looks like a quarter, it looks like a three quarter of our cabbage. And if you are if you are to cut this, it will take like a few minutes to cut the yeah. cut the knife, right? Yeah, because and then if your knife is blunt, then that's another. So do you have to resharpen these, or do they stay yeah. sharp for the lifetime? For well, the lifetime, it stays sharp. You don't sharpen any lifetime warranty. If you only wash it, you can only wash it with water, and it's good to go. Okay, so no soap either. So those are people no worried about. Wow, yes. this is so awesome. as you can see here, the cuts for the here the cuts for the for the salad, for the cabbage. And it's like a perfect shred, just the light. And did you notice? I didn't throw away the middle the part. Core. Oh, okay. This is where all the nutrients are for the cabbage. Because usually we cut that out. We cut that and, and we throw it away. Yeah. And if you have, if you have, uh, pigs or you have uh, other animals who eat yeah. this, you give them to them. So that means they are more healthy than you, <laughs> right? <laughs> they are more healthy than you. So we don't, we don't waste the salad mask. Yeah. So for those people like who fear blades and stuff, because I know there are people who if do you fear, fear blades. blades, what you can do is yeah. get, get some of your cabbage that is remaining when it's still big, mm -hmm. put it in here. Oh, it has like this, a little, um, yes. okay. And this will, will you hold it in and it will. Oh, so the rubber that. thing acts like a shield. Oh, yes, it oh. acts like a shield if you're if you're really. So every single part of the vegetable is in here. In so here we didn't waste is. anything. Okay. We didn't waste anything. No we don't waste. waste our carrots. We don't also peel the okay. the skin because that's where the nutrients are. So for our carrots, I'll take off this and to clean it in you just go clockwise and take it out for our carrots we'll use we'll use number two and we'll just put it in there and we'll find carrot this is so fast because usually like you have to think do I need to make the salad before and throw it in the fridge before they was ready and, and, and all that so this is like it's a joy and I, I think this machine looks very user friendly for kids it's I think you can teach your kids yeah I think the kids like especially now that a lot of kids are home I think you can grab your kids and they can actually help you you have kids help you have no excuse kids. anymore not to help mama the knife is not there no more the so. knife is not there anymore and for the kids you can actually turn like can you try? Um, let's see if my hand is steady. So, okay, just hold it here. Okay. Hold it firm and then just do it. So anyone can do it. Whoa. This is my first time doing this, by the way. So that I have not practiced, believe me. <laughs> I just watched, so I think it kind of... But I think the more you use it, you probably get the more you use it, it you, you get used to it. So you can leave it at that since it's your first time. Yes. I don't want you to cut your, yes. your so fingers, so just put it in here. All right, so I take it out and put it in that little yes. pocket right there, and I use the rubber thing, right? Yes. Okay. Whoa, there you go. Amazing. So I'm going to let the pro keep going. Yes. <laughs> so that we can actually have dinner. We can have dinner all the time. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be here trying to make dinner. As you can see, our salad is ready. Everything is shredded. And it's so bright, nothing. I am still very impressed how nothing's losing its color. Nothing is losing its and, color. And I'm telling you, I don't know if, I think maybe I have a sensitive nose, but when we cut cabbage, you know there's that mm -hmm. smell of cabbage? Mm -hmm. I, I smell nothing. And I kid you all not, I smell nothing except this right here which she'll tell you about yes and also no. just a special feature about this bowl here it's a thermal bowl 
What I mean by a thermal bowl is if you you have like potlucks, mm -hmm. you put it in the freezer, yeah, it gets cold. Then you take your food to charge, to work. When you have potluck, it will remain cold the whole yeah, time. You are going to get this spread. machine because <laughs> remember how we put buckets of ice and we're carrying ice in places. You stuff don't so need no ice when it comes to salad master thermal bowl. Trust me, this is the best. And it comes with different sizes. There's a smaller size and there's a bigger size. So so that these bowls are three sizes. No, they have even small, completely small. Oh, like small, just small. individual, yes. so I can make so you can make your individual mm -hmm. one. Individual, the one that you want. All right. So for our dressing, I do not buy any dressing. What I use for dressing, I do a fresh lemons, and I use our W and B um, seasoning, and I use. This is oil, it's called MCT oil, which is good for weight management, especially now that we are not doing any exercise. I know, we're very During docile. this COVID era, we can't go out. <laughs> okay, so I guess so, this is the bottle right here? Yes, this is the bottle for the MCT oil. Mm -hmm. And it has to be 100% coconut oil. From uh, coconuts, yes. So you can, for reach to to work well. So for weight, does it also help with cholesterol and stuff like yes, that? Yes, yes. Because when you eat it, it cleans you up nicely and okay. it helps with your weight management too. And you can see it's very clear. I think it's Yeah, I, it looks like water. It doesn't even look that thick actually. It's just like uh, mistaken it for water. So I'll, I'll mix this. I'll, I'll, I'll mix it in here. I poured <gasps> the lemon juice from fresh lemons and I poured my so this is your special salad seasoning? Yes. Okay. This is a smaller bowl. Smaller bowl, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. And I see that you kept um, seeds in there, right? No, yes, usually I do good. seed my... For your, for your health actually, they act as a, a medicine, for medicinal purposes. So you don't even throw that away. You, Add it onto your onto your salad, and when you eat and you, when you do this, make sure you actually will not taste the bitterness of the. So I saw the that lemon. you use the the size, mm -hmm. the big big portion. Mm -hmm. So how many lemons would you per se in a for salad? For this, that, I just do like for this two or three will be fine, depending on the, the, the juice that is in there. Wow. Yes. So our our our, our salad dressing is ready. Everything y'all in here smells so amazing and so fresh. Like, like I say, it's just, um, and everything just retains the color, 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 color. So, um, no worries about anything looking shriveled and shrunken. <laughs> so yeah. it will retain this. Like, let's say um, we were serving for at least three days. Oh, so it's nothing. It will not spoil. Not just spoil. leave it in here. Uh -huh. Put it in the fridge. Tomorrow when you come back. So how do we cover this? Does this come with a cover, or do we just use our? No, so just uh, the standard uh, plastic wrap. wrap. Plastic wrap. Yes. Never use uh, the the foil paper. Okay. Never use foil. <laughs> I'm a foil. I'm a foil paper person. Sometimes when I can't reach the plastic wrap or the thing doesn't go around, I just reach for foil. Okay. No more foil using. right amount of tang mm -hmm. and it's not like bitter or anything it has a tang and then the sweetness of the carrot like I can taste the carrot like the thing with, I can taste every single ingredient yes every single ingredient with every bite I'm not kidding y'all and ooh I'll continue I'm eating some so more so when are you getting your salad master mm. you guys I'm, I'm almost convinced I'm like 80% there <laughs> So I'm gonna hang out at Bar W Farm for the next couple of days, and by the time I leave here, you I will be out doing this. So, sure. but for my first time, I've always I've always eaten food that um, as much as she's my BFF, she's never told me how she cooks. She just brings the stuff, and she's like, "Don't worry, um, it's a secret recipe." So, um, 
We have quarantined and I brought myself here. So yes. it is amazing. So we're um and she's gonna leave her contact so if you wanna try and mm -hmm. does do you have to buy everything at once or you can go you can buy uh we have different sets so mm -hmm. uh We'll be going through sets. We'll have uh, episodes where we'll go through sets mm -hmm. and um, whichever fits your budget and we work with you. So, first thing, if someone was like a salad junkie, mm -hmm. which set would you recommend them to buy? Would it just be this and this can be their salad? This is, the, this is for the salad master. And this one, actually, you don't have to buy it. So, for more information, we'll have it down on the page. Just uh, Contact me and I'll be able to tell you how you can get this. Just pay for shipping and handling. And this oil, just before we, we leave out to go get ready to eat, mm -hmm. this MCT oil, like if you're not doing salad, what's your recommendation for us to take per day? Like let's say we It's a uh, one teaspoon a day. One teaspoon a day. So after you eat, take mm -hmm. one teaspoon a day and mm -hmm. you're good to go. You're not taking the salad. Great. Amazing. Right. I hope it helps with blood pressure. All right, let's go to the dining to hear some food. Okay, y'all. This food needs a nicely set table to go with it. And this is where you'll be joining us as we eat. All right. Food is ready, guys. Yes. So I hope you're going to enjoy. And thank you guys for coming out here to the farm. Thanks for having us. And enjoy the fresh air that we have out there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Away right. from city life, it's amazing. Oh, this looks so good and it smells even more amazing. Yes, we already prayed it's... for the food, so jump in. Thank you so much. This was lovely to watch. I know it's going to be lovely to eat. Mm. Yes, it is, especially if you're eating all mm. organic foods. Mm. 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 That's sweet potatoes. They still retain the natural, but mm -hmm. still, it's still one. So, mm -hmm. but first of all, like how many people could we feed from what we eat today? Like 10 people, even. 10. 10 people. 10 mm -hmm. people? Because remember when you talk with Talent Master, mm -hmm. you retain all the nutrients that you're eating, that, that is in the food. So when you have, when you when you when you're cooking with the other pots, mm -hmm. there's no the nutrients are already been killed in the in the process of cooking. So you tend to eat, the body is asking you to eat, you eat more because yeah, the body more wants nutrients. to have mm -hmm. more nutrients, that is not enough, so you, that's why you eat more. But I saw the master wants to eat like this plate here, I'll be full, I'll, I'll not even want to get another helping because the body is saying, hey, it's time enough. Yeah. Well, they think that this is expensive. Um, I kind of brainstorm and that's how much it's good. Mm. So mm -hmm. when we looked, it was just like half a cabbage. It was half a cabbage that fits 10 people because you're shredding everything, you're not throwing anything away. And then we used like four carrots. Four carrots were like a quarter of a pound, which is almost like $2. two dollars. Actually, if organic is probably a dollar, the amount of carrots you can make. Yeah, like a dollar with a half a cabbage is another dollar fifty, so that's three dollars for this for the salad. Then we had uh, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, just only use three sweet potatoes. There were three big sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. That's all we mm -hmm. use. And one sweet potato is 99 cents. That's so amazing. that's three dollars. So that's we are so far worth six dollars. And the sausages, we had two long sausages. One is uh, five dollars. So that's ten bucks. So, so I use less than 20 bucks for this meal. No oil. So you save on the oil. You didn't buy any yeah, we did a salad dressing. Salad. So probably thirty dollars. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your cooking time was. Kind and of the short. cooking time was less than twenty minutes. All together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twenty um, minutes all together. That is good. I will tell you, I will eat this all day. But if you have time, you can come over to Bad W. Rock farm, and we'll be able to enjoy this lovely meal together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the definition of farm fresh. This is farm fresh, yes. Very nice. And this is, and this water is so good. Oh, so this yes. is my water. My water, all the herbs in this water are all in my garden. How I go straight <laughs> from the garden. It is fresh from the garden. So it's water infused with lemon, mint, 
and rosemary. It's super fruity, it's so fresh and it's so minty, so mm -hmm. the spice, like, I think it just kind of works very, very well. So she, I like, I like the jug, like, this is how fresh everything looks, guys. It's beautiful. It was chill, it was like, everything, everything here is so green. Mm -hmm. Everything here is so green, mm -hmm. as opposed to the rosemary that we go buy and it's like. Mm -hmm. Since you all stay in the towns, how is it with this? during this COVID season? Well, for one, I don't know about Steph, for us, we can't like go jogging. I mean, like people mm -hmm. just, I think there's that fear of we're all going to be jogging in the neighborhood and you don't want to, to get out. To get out. Now mm -hmm. we're waving at each other from the porches with our neighbors. So it's not okay. like, and, and even being at home, we're quarantined from our own because we have to be like, if someone's doing something is in a Zoom class, someone's teaching, you have to be quiet. And you're not being quarantined for sickness, you've just been quarantined because you have the baby. Sunny. So you came from California, how was it? Yes, so it's definitely a new normal. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I saw the opposite in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, I used to run quite mm -hmm. a bit and mm -hmm. you would see people in the mornings, but it seemed like the volume of people walking outside mm -hmm. with their families, their pets and their kids, it multiplied so people are getting out more you know even though we're supposed to we're be supposed doing to be things at a distance wow. okay mm -hmm. okay but at least you walk six feet away from each other right exactly <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. Shop, shopping and grocery shopping has gotten tougher, so you don't mm -hmm. have that because you have everything here, your things, you know, we have to wipe down bags at the door, mm -hmm. toss them out, wash your veggies, and cup, which we usually normally do, but mm -hmm. I think it's just being an extra cautious thing that we have to do. I took it for granted. I, I used to wash cans every now and then, but now you just... Mm -hmm. You have to do it. You have to do it. I don't want to go to town myself because of the stories that I hear and you're telling me. So hey, I'm okay here. <laughs> the pace is even if I haven't been to town for mm -hmm. almost five weeks. Wow. But one thing I think I do miss personally is like church. Yes. So it's pretty difficult to have church in Zoom. I mean, mm -hmm. there's that feeling of when when you actually go to the sanctuary mm -hmm. church and you just have this part. Same. I miss mm -hmm. potlucks. I, I don't think I'd ever say this, but I miss potlucks. Yeah. I just missing being being together with everybody yeah. else and just right. fellowshipping together. And who knew that our last Sabbath was going to be our last one? I know. I know. I think the last time I was there was the 14th of March. Mm -hmm. Oh well, it was interesting. You had to have your wedding. Yes, and I had, had a quarantine wedding. wedding. She, she had a quarantine wedding. <laughs> quarantine wedding. And that... How was that? That was hilarious because the week that I visited, we were celebrating our anniversary. Mm -hmm. And who knew that 10 days later, we would be getting married, you know? We just had to face reality with our families and just realize that, you know, travel is at stake. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be in a position where I'm stuck over there or he's stuck here and we can't get to each other. Yeah. So it was a wonderful thing to, you know, move forward with their blessing and just face the facts that, you know, this is the best decision that we have to do for now. And you know, you learn to be thankful because it was still such a beautiful experience. And believe it or not, guess how many people were in the house? Twelve. Oh, wow. Just twelve of us. And it makes you think, why Why did we invite 200 people? You know? Okay. <laughs> it was such a beautiful experience, even without the crowd. Mm -hmm. um, and still so loving, you know, definitely emotional, interacting with people over the interwaves, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm glad I was able to reach a point where, you know, God was allowed me to be content because the whole world is adapting yeah. everyone is adapting in some kind of way whether it's in school mm -hmm. and different parts of their personal lives mm -hmm. you can't help but be thankful in That's spite true. of the inconvenience well i think i like it i i have <laughs> had my space <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> i've never appreciated space and i think it just made me chill out 
Right. So for me, I it think slowed it, it people came, down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It slowed me down because I know I had a hectic last couple of months, mm-hmm. and this was able to just. I think God gave me the break when I needed. He was just like, look. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I can't really complain. I don't know for me it was it was a plus so. And, and now we get to do what we like. I think like she always said that she's gonna cook and cook and we're all gonna get together and sit and eat. And, and when and we you never did that. We never did. So, so now, thanks to Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> now we're all like, we're actually visiting and stuff. And more intentional about communication. Yeah. Since we're separated. And actually, you get to talk to other people just to say, hey, I remember a friend, let me call them, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And if it's normal days, you don't even call them and talk to them, but now you're deliberating. Mm-hmm. The people you're calling, the people you're talking to, you're like, hey, I haven't spoken to this person for a long time. Yeah. Let me see if they're okay. So, guys, we have had so much fun. This food is so amazing. So, if you're going to look time. out and you're going to learn more about um, the farm. Bar W Farm, and we'll put everything on there, and you guys will enjoy yourselves. And um, if there's anything you would like <laughs> her to cook, she has everything on the farm. Oh, the because, recipes! Yeah, if you have ingredients now, because you know it can get taxing where you get bored about how to change up food. Mm-hmm. Because we honestly, I don't think we've ever stuck this long, like. Everybody, because usually people are at school, yes. so mm-hmm. you're putting a sandwich or something, right? Yes. You're only cooking during the weekend, but now it's every day you have to eat. So, if you you can send us, just we'll put an email there, email us the, the list of your ingredients, and we will cook together and come up with a meal. Mm-hmm. Like you've been thinking. Meal. Yeah. When people are excited for these one pot recipes, yes, so you can do everything in one thing because they don't want to. Spend all their time in the mm-hmm. kitchen. You need to also hey, get out of the kitchen and mm-hmm. be able to spend time with your family. Although we are spending a lot of time with the family. And now we can all use these plates. We never use them. <laughs> <laughs> right. We sit at the dining table and, and mm-hmm. eat together. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I sat at the table. Like, uh, yes. Now you can sit anyway. That's it for today. Um, See you the next episode. Thank you. Bye bye. It was delicious. It was. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. I think the Lord is blessed and highly flavored. Blessed and highly flavored. All I gotta say is the food is delicious. Wonderful. You ever had Thanksgiving on a Monday? <laughs> <laughs> and the water? Did you enjoy the water? Yes, the water is very um, refreshing. It's not refreshing. Mm-hmm. You feel like